practice today. Antonio Brown's not in the building today. He won't be practicing. Uh, I don't have any more information for you right now. And when I have some and it becomes appropriate, you guys will be, all get it, I promise you. But that's it for today. Now, I'm emotional about it. I hope you, hope you understand why. I think a lot of this guy. I think Antonio is a great receiver. And I think deep down, I think he's a really good guy. So I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm not going to say any more about it. Hope it all works out. Uh, but I don't have anything official to say about anything else until I get all the facts. And um, that's what I'm going to do. Well, in terms of a peaceful summer, uh, it pretty much was confined to the hot air balloon in which Antonio Brown arrived to Napa training that was, camp. That was nice. Yeah. That was about it. And then uh, forget about up, up, and away. It just kept going down. Although, uh, when he got back on the field from the, the foot situation, if you will, and he did finally get through the two helmet grievances and f stumble upon a, a helmet that he liked and perhaps getting paid to wear handsomely, it seemed like that was all said and done until... The letter that Mike Mayock sent to Antonio Brown to tell him that he'd been fined a second time. And through the Instagram storying of it out, we found out that the first time was, in fact, the day that he missed training camp, leading Mayock to go to the media in the tent back in August to say that that Antonio needed to be all in or all out. And it appeared to Ian Rappaport that he was all in until now. What is the latest of what's going on here? Which my understanding is as the Oakland Raiders prepare for week one, they are not planning as if Antonio Brown will be on the field. They are planning to be without him for the week one opener of the 2019 season. My understanding is the likelihood is that Antonio Brown will be away from the team as he tries to work out some of the issues that have become so prevalent and clear, including his shouting match that he had with general manager Mike Mayock. On Wednesday, where I'm told uh, he threatened Mayock, saying essentially he wanted to hit him. He took a football, punted it, and then said, find me for that. Of course, he was not at practice today, and I'm told not in the Raiders' plans on Monday. What we do not know is, is this going to be a suspension, or is he merely going to be inactive? We are still gathering information. But... For those fantasy drafts that are going on right now, and there are some, this is important information. All right. Well, obviously, in the reality world, the Raiders being without Antonio Brown for week one would be significant, certainly what that might mean no for their relationship moving forward. And in terms of that, look who is standing by with Stacey Dales right now. That would be the agent of the hour himself, Drew Rosenhaus, the agent of Antonio Brown. Stacey, take it away. Yeah, Drew Rosenhaus. Uh... Wow, where do we start with the situation? Uh, you're here for this, you know, game to kick off the season, and you're dealing with Antonio Brown's uh, situation. I guess just describe what's going on right now with Oakland. Not, not a lot is clear yet, other than that the Raiders said that AB should stay home today. They're trying to work through the relationship with him. We haven't heard anything about a potential decision yet. I've been in touch with John Gruden, Mike Mayock from the Raiders, of course Antonio, and we're trying to work through this. Mm -hmm. The goal is really to work everything out. Where is Antonio? He's still in Oakland. Okay. And, you know, speaking from my behalf, my objective is to get things worked out between Antonio and the Raiders so he can fulfill his contract and do what they brought him in to do. I don't think it's too late to salvage that relationship. Really? That's what we're working Can you describe what happened specifically? So we hear it from the horse's mouth during practice with Mike Mayock yesterday. Well, I wasn't there. And I'd rather let the internal stuff stay internal. Uh, I know there's been a lot of speculation. There's always two sides to every story. People have a tendency to uh, blow things out of proportion. My job is to bring everything back try and get things worked out that's what i'm working on right now and i i am in touch with the raiders nothing is final we're still attempting to bring everybody back into the fold what's the disconnect here for antonio it's been a constant it's seemingly a constant drama in terms of what we're dealing with in the media does he even want to be an oakland raider drew I think, I believe he wants to be an Oakland Raider. I believe he wants to play. I believe he's going to have a great season. I believe some things that happened were outside of his control. The foot injury was not his doing. The helmet 
We try to address that professionally. We got it worked out. To the clear bag. I think moving forward, everything can work out. We've had some bumps in the road, but he's had an incredible career. And I mean, we've had some setbacks recently, but I'm confident we can get back to doing all the great things that the Raiders signed him to do. That's my intention. That's my job. I'm just curious, though, what kind of a suspension are you, th do you believe is coming regarding this, given what's happened? That's really up to the Raiders. My hope is there won't be a suspension. I'm not aware of any as of yet. That's their decision. I'm working with them to try and avoid that scenario. you have a timeline for this? Not really. Just as soon as possible. Ongoing discussions on our end. Drew, thanks so much for stopping by. Enjoy the game, too. Okay. Rich, back to you. Uh, Stacy, I've got a question for him, if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Just got all of us question. here. Yeah, I just ask Drew, is, is Antonio all right? I mean, there's just a lot of people who are wondering about his mental state and his preparation to be able to play football. Can you, can you give us some sort of sense of that, please, yeah. ask him? A great question. Rich Eisen wants to know is, what, is Antonio Brown okay mentally? I, I, is he in a place mentally in which he can actually step on a field on Sundays and get the job done at the level we've seen him do it? A hundred percent. Absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind about that. I don't think there's any issue in that capacity. Um, we have had some obstacles through training camp, but Antonio is fine. He's great, and he's going to continue his career and do some great things. How do you get him to tailor back the social media, the Instagram that we all just saw with the fine from Mike Mayock? That's something that we've discussed with Antonio and the team, and we're trying to all get on the same page moving forward. All right, Rich. Does that answer your question, yes, Rich? Yes, it does. Tell him, uh, right. thank you. Appreciate the time, We man. appreciate you, Drew. That's thank it. You. That's Drew Rosenhouse right here on NFL Network Live. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Steve, I want to turn to you because um, you have experience with a supremely talented wide receiver and a Hall of Fame resume like, uh, obviously, Antonio Brown has. Uh, what happens, how difficult is it, I guess, to be a coach where the discipline that comes from the coach to the player is viewed as something personal yeah. and not professional like what happened, it appears, on occasion with you and, and T.O.? Absolutely right. And that's, this is why I commented to you guys earlier why I think John Gruden is handling this very well because he's saying the right things. I love this guy. I believe him. I believe deep down he's a good guy. He's a great player. All those things because if and when A.B. comes back to play, he's got to have a good working relationship with the coach. I mean, John Gruden, he installs the offense and he puts him in a position to succeed and they've got to have a great working relationship. That's where I made a mistake with with T.O., huge mistake. And, and when I suspended T.O. from going to the star in Dallas, you know, I met with the ownership and Bill Walsh and everything, and then I said, okay, I'm gonna, I'll do this. I'll suspend him. And that was probably the biggest mistake I made because yeah, I wanted to be the coach, okay? Um, so in the player's eyes, that was great. In fans' eyes, that was great. But in T.O.'s eyes, he right. took it personal. Right. It was personal then after that. He was gone for a week without pay. He came back. When he came back, Rich, he was the best receiver in the National Football League. Three All-Pros, uh, the most productive by far. He was, he was it for three years. Our relationship wasn't very good at all. He wouldn't speak to me much at all. It was just a tough working relationship when really, in actuality, the club should have suspended him. Yeah. So he's mad at the club or whatever, not me, because i got to work with him every right. single day. So that's why I think the Raiders are doing a better job than, than the way we handle T.O. That's why I thought it was brilliant, too, by, by John Gruden. It gives them room to continue to work together when and if it all straightens out and he gets back to the football field and he gets back to that six one straight 100-yard season trying to make this a seventh, which would be a, a record. And, and, and then, of course, you get back to putting up 104 receptions, 1,300 yards, and, and, and 15 touchdowns. But I'm going to tell you guys this. You know, as, when all this first stuff, stuff first started, I thought it was comical to some degree. You know, God, it's just, it's just a bunch of mess. But this is concerning now. You know, and asking the question, like, is he okay mentally? Right. It, it, it's apropos of, of the situation. Because you've got to say right now, man, after all that you've gone through to, in Pittsburgh, however that may have ended, it, not showing up and then coming in this Saturday, now you're here, you are here, and you're not understanding. 
you're not understanding it's one thing after another. That concerns me. That concerns me about Antonio Brown, the person. Forget Antonio Brown, the football player, because I know how much he loves playing football, and you're continuously having these kinds of situations. That concerns me. I'm worried. Well, that's the reason why I asked, is he okay? Because the, the, again, again we're, not, we're not there. We're not, we weren't in Napa. We weren't, although, you know, through the Hard Knocks cameras, we, we, we got a glimpse. And we're not, we're not at the facility every day. But to, to just a few months after being welcomed in, acquired right. by the Raiders, paid by the Raiders, Mayock was there at the press conference where they had his whole family there, to welcoming him to the family. To see just a few months later, now they're at odds because Mayock They've done everything find him it. for missing right. find him for missing a walkthrough in Canada, which by all accounts, you all you got to do is just show up in your flip flops and your shoe in your shorts. And and then also not to be at the facility for a training camp where through the hard knocks cameras right. that was after the Arizona game when Mayock and everybody's having a good time and 48 hours later right he wasn't there From the outside so, looking in they have done everything that's basic right. they've it? done everything right when he said he never got to go to Ben's house hey Derek Carl welcome him right over to the house let's correct all of these things and situations let's give you what you need here to love on you right they were with him through the helmet situation we give you the time off it's just and we still get to this it is it, it's crazy to even think that we can be here. Well, based on the reporting we heard from Ian Rappaport and what we just heard from Drew Rosenhaus, it seems that a pause button has been hit, that they're not calling it a suspension yet. They're saying he's not expected to be with the team on Monday. He showed up on the, the, the injury report today as did not practice conduct, and I guess they're not going to release him, but just wait to see if bygones could be bygones, and 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 put it back together is what it seems like yeah, it is. There's right a big now. difference between being inactive for Monday's game and suspended. I mean, the spend you get no paycheck. Gotta he makes a big paycheck. That's yeah, a that's huge difference. It's eight hundred sixty thousand dollars would be that paycheck. Just, you got to handle this better, man. The Bible talks about this. You know, your gift taking you to a place that your person is not prepared for. You have to get your person up to par and handle this stuff better. That's just the bottom line. He's a leader of that team now. You're making that kind of money. He has to get it together. Period. Packers Bears coming up tonight to kick off the actual playing season.